Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be going over using fields in mText and in tables and whatever we want to do. Let's get to it. Let's learn how to use fields. All right, so what you're going to want to do, and honestly the easiest way to do this is just put in some mText, however you want to do it. Crank that ribbon button right here using multi-line text, type in mText. What, however you get there, just get there. All right, so we are there now. We have a text box open. Now, it is worth mentioning that this does work a little bit better with mText. Um, so just note, that's how I'm going to be using it. Um, so what we can easily do is do something along the lines of this, other than using this horrible font, which we're currently using, but that's okay. So I'm going to put in date. Now, if I always wanted to fill in today's date, you know, I can sit there and type it, but why not do it the easier way? So I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to go to insert field. And what this will do is it'll pull information from your computer or your drawing or your Windows login, whatever it may be. It pulls the information and puts it into your drawing. So the cool thing is, is that I can always pull today's date by clicking on date here. And let's say I want to use that now. This is the typical one I use. And then I'll hit OK. And it'll automatically pull in that date. The other cool thing is you can have like a created date. So it'll keep the uh, date of when the drawing was originally created. Of course, you have to type it correctly. Um, you can do something like that. Right click, insert field. And you can also do a create date. This is the date the drawing was created. Now, you might be wondering, well, Brandon, what's going on? There's nothing there. Well, I haven't saved it yet. I haven't really created a drawing yet. Um, so let's save it. Um, let's save it to my desktop and hit save. Ta-da! And there it is. So you'll see it just appear. Now you can use these in multiple different things. So that's in mText. So can you use it in dtext? Well, let's find out. The easiest way to find out anything is to by trying it. And let's put some dtext in here. Insert field. Why, yes, you can. So let's do this one. Maybe uh, let's use the final name for this guy. There we go. So yes, you can use it in DTEX as well. Not too shabby. Now, you can also use it in other things. Um, a lot of other people like to use it in tables. So let's create a quick table here. Boom. And in one of these fields, of course, you can right click, go to insert field, and you can put whatever you want. So again, there's a lot of different things in here. Um, file size, maybe you want to see what the file size is in megabytes here. And again, remember, you can stretch it. Go put it on there, go MB right after it or something along those lines. So you can kind of combine it with normal text to kind of create your proposed effect, which is what we're doing right here. So again, fields can be used more than just for Sheet Set Manager. It's just kind of a quick way to pull in information. Um, some people like to use it for a plot stamp. And honestly, you can easily do it as a plot stamp because it's not too bad. So you can easily go, you know, type in something along the lines of file name, put that there, or file path, we'll say. Right? All right, then right click, insert field. Let's put the file path in. There it is. And, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want, hit OK. There we go, there's our file path. And then we can go create a date or maybe do save date, right? And then we'll go insert field and then we'll find something that we can use for the save date. Um, so every single time you save it is probably going to have the latest date, but I believe there actually is a save date in here. There it is and hit okay. So that's the date it was last saved. So now when it prints, it's going to have that and the save date. And you know what? Let's say I want to have my username right here. Who am I? Who printed it last? Who touched it last? Who did it? Now, if you happen to use your logins, like I do, we can easily do something along the lines of that. And we have my user login. Now, it could be your first, in, first initial last name, whatever it may be. But easily, you can kind of create this quick little deal here. And now, every single time you print your drawing, it will have this information. I believe there's even a plot date under there. Um, so again, utilizing fields, awesome way to kind of quickly fill out and automatically make things work for you in whatever way you want it to work. So again, this is the AIMCAD channel. I am a fearless leader B and please make sure to like and subscribe below and thank you for watching. 
And again, any other videos you guys may or may not want, please post comments and links or whatever you want to do in below. And maybe you're having a video and you can take a video of your problem and maybe I'll be able to solve it as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video and again, let me know how I can help you.